Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you today? So let's take a look and see what the energy is, your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions with you, Aquarius. The first thing we're going to start with, though, is the mutual energy that is taking place between the two of you in your connection right now. All right, so we have wise counselor. Interesting energy. Okay, so we have, that's a Hierophant card. We also have the card of celebration, the Three of Cups, dancing, having fun, enjoying one another. Okay, what else do we have? Eight of Cups. So something about this connection has made the two of you, it looks as though both of you left each other at some point or will in the future, but we have to look at this. So the Eight of Cups is not feeling satisfied in the relationship. Wise counselor would suggest that you may get marriage counseling if you're married. You may look to friends. You may look to tarot readings for some wisdom. The Three of Cups, you love each other, but you're not really satisfied with where you're at. Both of you are feeling that you might be going your separate ways. Oh, wow, okay. So we see a person with their dog. This is a fool card. Mo both of you need a new beginning in this relationship or else if you don't have a new beginning, I see that you know what you have right now is not feeling as though it's sustaining you adequately to stay in the relationship. So what do we have here? The sun card indicates that you guys, the two of you have a tremendous, tremendous, amount of happiness that takes place. When it's good, it's really good. But I'm also getting the devil energy here, indicating that that's Capricorn energy and it really is. Uh, somebody has a very bad tendency to want to be in charge of the relationship. These are power struggles. This is a devil card. It's ego driven. So when things are good, they're really great, but it does look like the two of you have had some real unhappiness or dissatisfaction. I do feel as though you've known each other a long time. The Three of Cups with the Hierophant card indicates that you've been through a lot together. This person, oh boy, they are really, really addicted to you physically, sexually. They want to come in hot. This person does. You feel the same way. The chemistry between the two of you is very good. But there is a battle, an ego battle going on right now. And it does look as though, though you care very deeply about each other, you do expect to talk again right now it looks very very stressful so let's look and see what your person now this is just your person's thoughts about you aquarius your person's thoughts about you let's see okay oh look at this beautiful oh the ace of cups Look at how sweet that is, that sweet little baby holding out a cup of love. This person feels very protective of you. This is the daddy card as it's known, the nickname of it. They feel as though you are their soulmate. Wow. All right. This is a very intense reading. We do have Gemini energy. Somebody probably has Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in their chart. Um, you know, this energy of the, the uh, King of Pentacles is a Taurus King. This is somebody who loves you and feels a, a strong sense of protection over you. That they need to be patient, that they, this is a husband card too. They do feel as though you're very emotional, that you're very psychic, that you're very much, very, uh, very much in love with them. And look at this, the Ten of Cups. They, they think of you as their happily ever after. We see children. We see all this energy that, you know, is telling us that your person wants to go whatever place you're in right now, whatever went amok here, because there is a celebration it, with one of you and yet not the other of you. So it, there's a feeling that somebody's being left behind for a new beginning and oh yeah, celebration. 
this is a very tough combined energy so i am going to take a look at that with the el goliath deck shortly so we can really get into what this is about at the top but your person truly loves you they really do love you very deeply they're very emotional about it you're they think that you're very emotional about it um, it's interesting to me because they see you as their happily ever after. They see you as a spouse, you know, going from the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Um, so they do see you as a wifey or husband material. They feel very protective. I think this is something that the two of you have had for a long time. I feel as though you've known each other a long time. All right, so wise counsel. They're trying to find answers in traditional means, okay. Here we have their feelings, is that there is a death in the relationship of some sort. The transformation card is coming up here as a number 16, this is actually the tower card. There's something that has been very unexpected that has happened in your relationship and it is really causing a ruckus. I mean, whatever you believe, the two of you believed about your relationship at a younger and an earlier time in your lives is now shattered. So the tower, there is protection though for you, Aquarius. This is a card of protecting you. The Seven of Pentacles says that your person is trying to assess the situation and figure out how to make things right between the two of you. That is Leo energy. This person wants to do the right thing morally with you. We see a lot of angels in this particular deck, which I like. I do feel like there's divine protection in all of this for you, Aquarius. Let's see what we have here. You are very single, ready to mingle. This person really feels as though you are very much a person that they just really respect. They really admire you. They're very attracted to you. You know, when we look at thoughts, you know, we get the energy, the thoughts, the feelings. In their heart space, they're very loyal to you. In their heart space, they feel as though they broke the relationship. And it was a relationship in which there was a lot of investment over the years. So in their heart space, they feel as though they broke something and they better darn well fix it. The four of coins are not going to let go of you. They feel very possessive over you, but they don't have the right to if since they're bringing the tower down or since they brought the tower into your relationship. So this looks very challenging with that tower energy in that particular place of their heart space. They could be having having an epiphany that, you know, the person that they should have their life with is you. Again, very strong physical connection. What we see is that this person intends to spy on you, watch you. They're trying to see a time when they might be able to come in and give you a gift, give you some token of... Um, a gift of some sort, hoping that they will pay off a debt to you, something that they owe you emotionally. We get the Ace of Swords. They have clarity about what they want to do. They do think they have the answers, but we see children here. This is a little boy and this is a page. This person has not, here you are, you know, they've injured you in some way. They feel as though they owe you something, so they're trying, they have a sort of a childlike view of what it's going to take to make it better. The Nine of Rods. This person feels guilty, but they feel as though they have to power through. They have to come through with you, for you, with you. So their intention is to try to set something right with this tower. Balance. This is temperance. They want to come back into a relationship with you. This is making up after breaking up. Successful compromise. It is self-control, balance, and patience. What are their actions going to be? Oh boy. This person is coming in with what they feel is a romantic and flirtatious offer. They would love nothing more than to do the horizontal mambo with you. I don't think that that's going to be really... Let's see. 
Nine of Swords, they're going to come in with an apology. They're coming in with an apology. They feel as though they've done something really, really terrible to you. This says unfounded fear on the card, but with the tower, I'm not seeing that as an unfounded fear. That's a founded fear. They know that they owe you an apology. The world card, they do feel as though there's a chapter that needs to be left in a better place. They feel as though they need to make things right with you uh, to close out a cycle of misunderstandings. The renewal card is judgment, releasing something. They're releasing the past, releasing karma. But the problem is, is that it, with this tower card, they've received some karma. I feel as though you've turned your back and walked out. I feel that's you. I feel this is you coming into a new level. And look at, here's my answer right there. I'm absolutely right. This person feels like an, a thief in the night. Their actions were dishonest, dishonorable in some way. They did something that they knew was unkind when you weren't looking. The little birdie told them that they knew this was the wrong thing to do. With this renewal card, this judgment card, I feel as though they're going to get karma. And I feel as though whatever apology they think that they are going to come in and give you, there is a feeling that you might, they're expecting the worst truly. They're expecting that maybe you just do not even want to speak to them. All right, so that's their action. So let's go ahead and look and see what, there's a lot of juju here, my friends, a lot of juju. So what is it that this person did? This person is forced you. It looks like they forced you with the tower card to move on with your life without them to start again. And in terms of what you view, you feel as though this person is having a good life, living it up, enjoying their lives. Both of you have a good life, but your feeling is that you, you got a little bit of a raw deal here or a lot of a raw deal. You know, the devil energy also can be temptation and it's next to the Knight of Wands. So some of you may feel as though this person came in and they were all about the in and out energy, all about player energy. For some of you, you will feel as though you have been played. All right. So why is the Eight of Cups here with our shadow deck? The Nine of Cups. Okay. You feel as though this person was about having a good time. You know, that's what's coming in here. You know, being in an unhappy place and then just, hey, yeehaw, let's celebrate. And let's celebrate three times as big. This is eat, drink, be merry. It is also wish fulfillment. It does show Aquarius that your person wants to see you again. It does show, there's a couple of ways to read this, but it does show me that they want to leave whatever situation they've been in and come to you, eight of cups to the nine of cups to have a new beginning. The sun card is the, when they were with you, it was the happiest ever. But when I look at it from your viewpoint, you're feeling very much, it can be vice versa always, but you're feeling like they treated you in a pretty raw way and you didn't give them any reason to do this. You were always wonderful to them. You were always kind. You were always loving. And that shows up here in the reading. The Three of Swords says that this person probably went off and started a relationship with someone else. We have Three of Swords energy, third party energy here. So it does look like there is a situation in which they broke your heart. They have broken your heart. It looks like you're not speaking currently. Although this person wants to speak to you. The Fool card, they want a new beginning. I feel as though you might hear from them over the holidays. It's just kind of a, a way to sort of put the foot in the door. This person is a father figure. This person is feeling very much like they you are their lover. They do feel like you're their soulmate. They, do, they miss you a tremendous amount. We have the five of coins. So they didn't get away with anything. They are suffering from whatever happened in this relationship. The Four of Pentacles, look at it. They feel like they've gotten themselves marooned on a mountaintop. There's nowhere to go. That's the same energy right here. This is the Four of Pentacles also. 
managing resources and right now they have they've painted themselves into a corner with you by hurting you and leaving you in the cold so they don't feel as though they have something good they feel as though you'd have every right to be really upset with them because they broke your heart they the hidden energy here we see the shadow self the dark inner part of this person knows absolutely that they did the wrong thing they are they've they know that they left you upside down down the rabbit hole feeling as though you need to heal although they don't think you really have to heal they think that whatever they did you're so strong you know you're so magnificent that you'll be okay with it the king of wands energy is leo energy again coming in here this leo energy with the seven of swords is aquarius energy leo aquarius so it does show that you know they know that they should have acted more honorably they were acting in the seven of swords energy versus the king energy the three of coins means that they know that right now you don't really want to talk to them it's reversed there's no there's no way that they can come in they don't feel that they can come in and actually make an offer or make things right unless you strike up a conversation and okay so let's see how how you're feeling about this tower. Let's see about this tower. The moon card, there you go. That is how you would feel about the tower. You're like, what the heck happened? You know, where you were not afraid of this person before, now you just, you cringe at the idea that they were so duplicitous with you. This is a duplicitous, this is painful, heartbreak, feeling used, feeling, feeling as though this person went on their merry way after you dropping you on your head so to speak metaphorically you're afraid of this person and this person has every reason to know that you have the right to be that you know they feel as though you're very unpredictable to them right now they don't know how you would react yep here we go that's so the tower card is you feel this is this is a shadow card this is a very difficult visual but it's called the thief in the night and it's the same as the seven of swords. So this person is running off with everybody's sword. They're, they've taken advantage. The birdie's gonna tell the secret, but your experience of this person was not that they stole anything that was, you know, you can replace a sword, but you could not replace the eggs, the baby eggs in the nest. Wow, oh my God, Aquarius, I feel this is a hard reading. The eggs represent the high priestess energy, protecting that which is sacred in this person. Just you feel as though they just destroyed everything sacred in your connection. Let's look and see what spirit has for advice for you. This is the only reading that I've had through all of these readings that's been really tough. But man, you are strong, Aquarius. You are so strong right now. Let's see, Aquarius, Aquarius, you have a handle on this. I don't know that you're going to trust this person in the future. You can, I see a powerful change coming in. I do see, oh, look at this, the Taurus King. Taurus King energy coming in for you. You and your loved ones are safe, so you you have a pretty good handle on this. And what do you need to release? So you are releasing this person. That is what the, the judgment card is about. I think that you may have already released this person. You may have already let them know that you're sort of okay. You haven't really had any retaliation per se. You have reacted to the tower you know your reaction would have been like where did that come from you know somebody just took babies i mean my eggs somebody you know this person was nefarious with you you know i don't see you willing necessarily to go into the fray with this person you don't feel safe enough you feel like this person is not stable enough the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. So that means the answers you needed that were coming happened most likely around November 30th. 
so it does look like both you know you do have some sort of self-healing that has gone on wow full moon in aries a fiery climax approaches with a full moon in aries wow that is going to take place in the next several months so it does look like you feel like you get redemption here don't let pride and get it get in your way you're just going to keep your wits about you with this person you know i really don't see you uh, let's see what you're what you'll actually do because what they're doing is irrelevant at this point they're still basically being nefarious you're going to treat them like you are judge judy you are going to judge them according to their actions you're going to hold them accountable you are going forward in your life you're looking forward to new adventures seven of fire you're going to hold your boundaries with this person eight of pentacles you're going to focus on your work you're going to stay away from them they don't have access to you the sun card means that you are going to find great happiness and joy in your life you're about to change directions you're about to make some new decisions in your life five of air you're releasing the pain that they brought to you the four of air you are healing the four of air you are healing the page of earth you're going to make a brand new plan with again a taurus king is coming into your life and it's not this person so aquarius beautiful healing energy for you sending you love and light sending you love from chicago send some back and tell me what your story is on this i would really like to know take care hugs my friends Bye bye